Albert Einstein was really good at asking simple, innocent questions, which in turn had catastrophic answers that physicists have been testing for the past 100 years. Meanwhile, the rest of us are left wondering what the fuck was going on at the end of Interstellar. When Einstein was about 13, he asked himself, what would the world look like if I were riding on a beam of light? Imagine, you managed to catch a wave of light shining from the clock. You are the fastest moving object in the universe. From your perspective, the clock would never change. No light emitted from the clock since you left can catch up to you. The world would appear frozen in time. But from everyone else's perspective, time would tick on as always. Relativity tells us that moving clocks run more slowly as their velocity increases. So put one in a box and accelerate it. The faster the clock travels, the slower it ticks compared to the clocks at rest. Once it reaches the speed of light, the clock stops altogether. Now imagine a record spinning on a turntable. Since the outside of that record has to travel at a greater distance in the same amount of time to complete one rotation, time is passing a little slower on the outside of the record than on the inside. As a result, the inside of your record is aging a little bit faster than the outside. We know for sure because scientists have measured it. By bringing two perfectly coordinated clocks to the North Pole and the equator, the clock at the equator always falls behind. Satellites have to constantly account for the difference, and we depend on satellites for GPS, cell phones, and of course, Twitter. Relativity is hard to recognize because we move so slow compared to light. Crank up the speed and things start getting weird. Imagine two twins were born and raised together. One grew up to become an astronaut, the other an accountant. The astronaut leaves for a year-long mission traveling just under the speed of light. When he gets back, his twin brother would now be seven years older than him. Now that you're doubting the nature of your entire existence, remember, the bottom line is we live in a sometimes bizarre yet elegant universe, and sometimes asking a simple question can change the way we look at everything.